this week, we're going to read Parashat Vaishlach. And the Parashat talks about when Yaakov Avinu, he, can, he comes back to his father's house and he hides Dina in the box. Right? He hides in the box and not only hides her, he locks her up, it says Rashi. The Midrash Bunzan, he locks her, he doesn't hide in the box, he locks the box also. Now, the Midrash says that. What? Dina, Dina was locked up in the box. That's why when it says Yaakov, you know, he put in the front the 12 sounds. So Midrash says, where is Dina? So Midrash says she was in the box. So Hashem says, because you did not give, oh, why do you put in the box? Because he did not want Esau to see Dina and he's going to fall in love and take her as his wife. Right? So uh, but that's why Yaakov, you know, he hid Dina in the box. Midrash says, because you did not let Esau take Dina, and maybe he would come, uh, maybe he would do Shua and become better. That's why he did not give to the person that had Mila, we're gonna give to the person that did not have Mila. Who the Shechem bin Chamor? That was the Spanish of Yaakov Avinu. So everybody asks a question, is how can it be? She's six year old. He's God knows already, 100 years old already. Well, you, you cannot give a dinar to Esau. That's number one. Now we're doing the Gemara in Masechet Sanhedrin, in Chelek, uh, right? It says over there, whoever gives his daughter to Amma Aretz, you have a daughter. If your domot it does not learn Torah, it's Amaris, Bur Amaris, it's like you're putting your daughter in front of a lion. Ari, it says. Because he, when he eats, you know how he eats. He eats life. Right? And thirdly, Yaakov, uh, Esau, when he was 15, he did all the five sins. Right? He killed, he raped, everything he did. Why would Yaakov even be punished for not giving his daughter to Esau? It doesn't make sense. The second question is when Yaakov Avinu comes to Esau, he's afraid of Esau, right? If you look at the parasha when he got the blessing, when Yaakov was running away, what does Esau say? He says, one day, when it's gonna be Evel Avi, when my father will pass away, God forbid, right? It's gonna be morning, I'm going to kill Yaakov. Perfect. It's like didn't die it. What are you afraid? He's not gonna kill you because the father's still alive. So why is Yaakov afraid? Second question is, Rivka says, I don't want to lose both of them one day. Let him go away from here. But you just heard what Esau said. I will not kill Yaakov until uh, Isaac dies. So good, so you have guarantee that you won't die until the father dies. That's the second question. Third question is, it says by uh, when Shimon and Levi, they go and fight <coughs> the seed of Shechem, right? They go fight Shechem and all the people in Shechem. It says over here in the Torah, it says, Ve'ichu shinei b'nei Yaakov. And the two sons of Yaakov, Shimon and Levi, they went and fought again, and they killed all the Zcharim of that city. So they ask a question, it says, shinei b'nei Yaakov. When it says, by Aaron, it just, it just says, b'nei Aaron. If you remember the Nadav Avi, they went and they brought fire, right? Esh Zara. It says, it says b'nei Aaron, ve'ichu b'nei Aaron. But in Parasha, it says, ve'ichu shinei b'nei Yaakov. Why it says it says Shine and over there it says just it doesn't say Shine Bne Aaron, it just says Bne Aaron. So I want to answer the third question now. The two questions we'll answer will answer Khalakana Shabbat. It's a long discussion. Answers like this. It says here that when the two sons went to fight and kill all the men, right? Each one had his own reason, intention why he's going, his own kavana. One is going because how can you embarrass my father's house? Bizayon for my for Yaakov Avinu, his daughter to be raped, he went and he fought. Jalash Megrad, the only he goes and he fights, right? But the second one goes, not because his father was disgraced and everything. No, he says, I'm going for Hashem. How can you do this? Right? Because Kanod Kinati like Pinchas. That's why says Shnei Bnei Yaakov, two sons of Yaakov. By our own, the two sons came with one intention to do good. Over here, each one had a different intention. What's the proof? It says, by, uh, in Parashat Acheremot, we read on Yom Kippur, it says, God says you should take Shne Seirim, two goats, one for Hashem, one for Azazel. Oh, it's perfect. It says Shne Seirim, and there's two purposes in the Seirim. This is just Shne Seirim. It doesn't just say Seirim. Plus, when Hashem created the world, and it says, and Hashem created two luminaries, Shne HaMeorot, it says, right? Also Shne, it says, why two? Because one was the moon, one was the sun. One became small, and one was still big. 
So we we'll see whatever it says shnei, it means two different purposes. That's why here in the parasha it says veichu shnei bnei Yaakov, and by uh, Aaron a Kohen it doesn't it doesn't say shnei bnei Aaron, it just says bnei Aaron. Why? Oh, they they went with one intention. Here they went with two intentions. Yeah, that's why it's here it says shnei bnei Yaakov. Baruch Amen. Rabbi